Hello, Geminis. This is going to be your love reading for the month of December. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. You guys, if this reading doesn't resonate, I would prompt you to go ahead and check your Moon and Rising signs as well as your Venus and your Jupiter um, if it suits you. If it still doesn't resonate, then please leave it where it is because it just means it's not your reading for today, okay? If you need something more personalized, um, my information is down below the video. You can visit my website at pinkariangem.com. And um, we can talk about what it is that you need. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for you guys. What? Where'd you come from? Let's see what's going on in the past. Where'd you come from? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Gemini. What's going on with my Geminis? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Gemini. Ooh, the sun. Love it. Beautiful. King of Swords. The High Priestess. Okay, so it looks like, you know, in the past you guys realized something that was tantamount to your, like, to your well-being. Very enlightened, very aware, um, able to gain focus where focus was needed. You know, doing things that you felt like were good for you from a heart space. You know, instinctively, you know, doing things that you felt like, you know, benefited you. Very intuitive, very knowledgeable, very smart. Um, could be dealing with the Leo, Pisces. Let's see. I feel like this, you know, this this realization has everything to do with how to enhance your life in a material way. How to, you know, gain the wealth or not saying that you're rich or you're trying to, you know, be the Bill Gates of, you know, your world, but just trying to you know, gain your footing, get on a stable ground to where, you know, you feel very confident in who you are and what it is that you have to offer. If you even want to offer anything, I feel like here. Okay. You could possibly be dealing with, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here, Leo, again, like I said, um, but this is like really coming to, coming into yourself, I feel like here. Something that you were actually trying to, you know, realize. Something lucrative that, you know, you, you came upon. I don't think you were looking for love. I think you're more focused on um, getting your getting your coins together. This is what it looks like, gems. Okay, so we have the world here in your present position, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords. Hmm. So here we see you ending a karmic cycle here, starting something new, starting something new. Looks like something that you walked away from before. Wanted to be single. You walked away from somebody here, Aries, Libra energy. And this person was this person was was substantial to you. It's what it looks like. 
it was very substantial to you. Either they walked away or you walked away from them. But I get the sense that <clears throat> you moved away from them, walked away from them, walked away from the relationship. But at the same time, I think you're, you're using your intuition here with this high priestess. And now it's like you have figured out something new, something that you did not know before. And I see you wanting to come forth and say something. Come forth. I see you wanting to come forth and say something here. Because the page is just having the thoughts, you know, planning. Planning what it is that, you know, th that they want to do. Just taking like an inventory of the situation and like, okay, this, I need to do this, 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 and this. But the Nine of Swords does. They go and do it. And so I feel like there's something here that's ended that you may not want to end, that you may be trying to resurrect. Because judgment has already happened here. Somebody made a decision. And then the world brings about the end of that karmic situation, in particular, a karmic situation, so that something else new can begin. And I feel like that is what you, that's where you are right now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You're missing somebody or vice versa. Oh, now we have your pair. We have your mate down here in the future position lined up with you down here in the middle. Queen of Swords down there. Hmm. Now, This is a little sticky because I feel like, you know, you both are, you and this person that you're dealing with, both thinking about issues that you guys went through in the past, okay? And the Queen of Swords is very guarded. She's very guarded at this point. I don't feel like she's unreasonable. I just feel like she's gonna cut straight through the bullshit if there is any. Because I think where this person is with this Nine of Wands is they have already done this before. Not doing this again. And so I think that's why she's showing up as a queen of swords. And it could be another air sign like yourself, or it could just be somebody that is in this state. In this state. not really willing to there the only cups here is the five of cups you know and that's just thinking about how something made you feel before how somebody made you feel before and it wasn't good you know it wasn't good but i think that um 
I think that somebody here is having regrets and I feel like Gems it's you that's got this regret factor going on But at the same time, I feel like you both are in like this place where neither one of you really wants to revisit the situation for, for thinking that, you know, it may bring up some things that neither one of you wants to go through again. Okay. Let's see what this, um, and then we have, yeah, the two of pentacles at the bottom. This is being able to have it all, but needing to find the balance to do so with the chariot behind it and the hermit car, you know, was very reflective at some point, Virgo energy, cancer, and, you know, just moving forward positive in a positive direction and doing the things that you need to do to be happy because there is balance in this card. You just have to know how to balance things out to do what you need to do in order for things to be, you know, right. I'm going to put some cards, clarifiers down here, you guys. Let's start with the King of Swords. Look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. A page of wands. Yeah, and I think, I think, gems that I feel like you feel that there has been a missed opportunity here. With the five of cups being down here. I feel like Somebody, and I think this Queen of Swords, maybe reached out to you. And maybe you turned, you turned this person away because you were wanting to focus on your coins here. And I think at some point you, you realize in your heart of hearts intuitively that you could have had both. I feel like you, you feel like you can have both at this point. You realize that in the past. Look at that with the Queen of Coins, the Ten of Coins, beautiful, abundant partner to the King of Coins there, with the Ten of Coins, being very humble for what you have, establishing a legacy for your family, and the Knight of Coins, studying what has gone on in the past, realizing that you can have the tangible things in life, the mundane things in life, have all that you deserve materially as well as love. Wow. Oh, gosh. I feel like you let your ego get in the way. And I think you're realizing that. Look at this. Look at this. The High Priestess with the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups. Feeling stabbed in the back. But this card is, is an ego card. This is a this is a need to let go of the egoistic things and allow this love, this undeniable love that you know that you have with somebody else to take forefront. But I think, you know, you, you, you were so focused or somebody here and these energies can go vice versa. It could be the other person, but 
just somebody was very like you know concerned with the things that happened in the past very concerned as we have the devil card under the bottom of the deck just concentrating heavily on you know how their ego was bruised how this person did this to me how they did that to me and sometimes you know we, we we're good at pointing fingers at what this person did and what that person did but we have a hard time kind of looking at ourselves to kind of like what could we have done better you know and i think you know once once we start taking accountability for the things that we do then you know our relationships will be better not just our intimate relationships but you know just just dealings with other people in general you know and i think for this love because this is an undeniable love gemini's um i think you're realizing that but i think what's holding you back is the fact that you feel like you know, this person is going to reject you or they're not going to accept you back because they tried already. And I think that is um, where it's coming from. You're broken hearted over this too. You really, it's like really troubling you. Here we have the three of swords with the five of swords here. Total us the eight of swords. It's like you're you're thinking about everything that went wrong. What you could have done is sitting on top of the world card with one karmic cycle ending, okay? Um, but you're thinking about all the different things that were done in the relationship that brought about heartache for you, disappointment for you, as well as the other person. But I feel like you know, there were lots of arguments um, in the relationship. There was a lot of conflict. And I feel like you know that you hurt this person. Or vice versa. And there is a need to speak about it there's a strong desire here very strong desire here and a whole like a lot of thinking a lot of thinking the only wands card i see here is the nine of wands there's way too much thinking going on and not enough action okay under the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords here, realizing that, you know, I may have had um, a hand in this breakdown, or I may, you know, this connection is no longer for me, but you know what? I may need to go and just make amends with this person, you know, just to, just to clear my energy because it's right if for nothing else, you know. Let's see what this Knight of Swords. Scorpio energy here. I think somebody just wants to clear their mind. They want to let go of whatever conflict 